What's up YouTube, it's Xenazor here, and today I have a video for you about the Google Android Market. The 3.1.3 update for the Google Android Market, which makes the market pretty cool. I mean, you can have books, movies, it features a whole bunch of apps, it looks really cool. So what I'm going to show you how to do today is to download. So first thing you're going to do is you're going to uh, go into your settings, if you haven't done this already, from uh, other downloads, you're going to go into your settings go into applications and then make sure this is checked unknown sources allow installation of non-market applications just check that because you're going to be downloading the android market uh... from foreshare.com or uh, that link up here that link is where you're going to be downloading it so just write that link down somewhere i'll also have it in the description but if you want to do this now and don't wait for the description by all means do so and i believe it's case sensitive so it's lowercase o capital n capital r lowercase o lowercase a capital l that's just the specifics so um... go to that link and it will take you to foreshare.com and the first thing you're going to have to do on foreshare.com is uh, you're gonna have to wait 20 seconds it's gonna count down from 20 and then once it gets to zero it's gonna uh, say click here to download this file so um, the title of it is new android market 3.1.3 it's 3291 kilobytes and down here um, right here it says .apk if you've seen my other videos I use foreshare.com to download .apks .apks are basically the only file types that Android can read that can be installed as applications so um, the way you can even tell that's even more reliable is if it has an Android uh, little figure an Android figure uh, right next to the new word right there right, uh, right next to that and that goes for mostly all Android apps that you're going to be downloading from foreshare.com or non-market um, sites. So um, just click download and it will appear right here in your tasks, in your notifications bar. So what I'm going to do, just to skip that wait, I'm just going to go into my browser downloads. And I'm going to go right here. And this is, the app is called Market right here. And it's going to say replace application. This is a system application. Do you still want to replace it? All previous user data will be saved. So you're going to click OK if you do want to install the latest market if you don't already have it. Now, I just want to say a brief note. If your phone is brand new, say you got it before, uh, a little after August or late August, you probably will have the new market pre-installed. Um, my phone is basically brand new. I got this four days ago because it was a replacement model for my old Droid X. My old Droid X overheated to approximately 128 degrees. It got so so hot to hold, and it just randomly started overheating. Like, I would turn it on, and it would start overheating from me just turning it on. I, I wouldn't even launch an application and just leave it on my desk, not charging, not doing anything, and it would start heating up to really hot temperatures, and so I decided to just replace it and this phone is running much smoother. I don't have the Apex ROM installed. I don't think I'm going to need it. I have Gingerbread installed. So um, that's basically it for my phone. Uh, so just click OK when you install it. You want to install it, click OK. It's going to give you more things to say. Like uh, It's going to just give you this. I'm just going to click cancel because I already have it. I don't want to wait for this to install. So just click install. And that's it. So once you go into the market, I recommend uh, rebooting your phone first. That's just my recommendation. You don't have to. Uh, you should be able to be uh, to go straight into the market and have it the new market. But uh, I just reboot just to be safe. So um, some of the new things that the market has added is you, you can see that it says books and movies. Books and movies is a really cool feature that I'd say can bring some money to Google from this Android market. The only thing I'd say is that the movies um, they're not overpriced. They're they're pretty cheap, but if you compare it to Netflix, it doesn't really beat it. Because Netflix is unlimited movies uh, for a whole month, and you have to pay, I don't even think you have to pay over $20, maybe $7, $15. I can definitely tell you, if you wanted to watch, say, five movies over the course of a month, it would be more expensive in the long run than just watching a... Uh, 
and then just subscribing to Netflix and having the ability to watch movies on your computer, having the ability to watch movies on your TV, if your TV is Netflix capable, and on your Xbox. So I'd say that is just the only category it's lacking. If it was, say, a movie, a good movie was only a dollar, two dollars, I'd say that's pretty good. You wouldn't have to have a Netflix account. Um, you probably w could just be able to survive off of watching good movies off of here. But if, if the price drops, say from $5 to $3, $2, something like that, I'd say that's pretty good. Um, I'd only pay $5 if it's a brand new movie. Um, some movies on Netflix are not available that are um, under two months old. Um, so I'd say that this could uh, be better than it in a couple of ways, but otherwise Netflix, I think, is slightly superior to this. So, um, you just have the movies category, you also have the books category. Uh, the books category, again, uh, it's nothing compared to Kindle. Kindle, you can just um, download a book instantly. You can have the Kindle app. Just search Amazon Kindle, download it, have an account. Um, this, I guess, is okay. Um, I think that you can subscribe to New York Times just like you can on Kindle. So this is basically the same thing as Kindle. Since these are ebooks, they're almost the same price. It depends on the book. If it's a brand new book, I'm going to say it's around the 10 to $15 range. If it's not that uh, old, um, if it's not that new, I'd say maybe uh, under $8. But basically, it's similar prices. It's pretty similar prices. So, I mean, you can download both and see which one works better. You can just compare prices yourself. If you see a book over here that you can get on Kindle, you just can see uh, if there's a price difference. If there isn't a price difference, you can download it on whatever you want. Um, if it's a $1 price difference, I'm not sure it makes a difference. But still, I'd say that um, it's basically your choice because these aren't that expensive and they're ebooks, so they're a lot cheaper than hardcover, a lot, uh, a lot cheaper than paperback. They're ebooks. They're just electronic books and they're pretty cheap. So that's it for the books. You can slide over to top selling. Uh, whoops. You can. Uh, oh, that was Mockingjay. That's a very good book, by the way. Uh, top free, new arrivals. Yes, there are free books. Um, there are some pretty good free books. Uh, for example, Pride and Prejudice, Alice's Adventures in Wonderland, or something like that, Moby Dick, um, Scarlet Letter, some pretty good um, books that are free. So, if you like, if you're into like that free free good books, some classical books, I don't, I don't really know, some rather old books that are free, I guess uh, Android Market, uh, the book selection, I guess it's for you if you want that kind of uh if those kinds of deals and offers suit your needs. But basically, uh, the Android market hasn't really changed that much. This, aside from the fact of a few upgrades to, like, looks, it looks a lot better. Um, still the same functionality. Um, again, uh, there are, like, featured apps. Old Android market. Uh, in the featured apps section, I don't believe they were this like big. They didn't take up like this whole page. I guess some apps the companies pay for it because you can tell. Uh, for example, Zynga Poker it only takes up like two blocks. This only takes up one. Uno takes up maybe like four blocks. Madden and Fellow four blocks. So uh, I guess it depends on either how good it is or how much the company will pay for the app to be featured. I guess Madden and Fellow either pays. Uh, Android to feature their app on the home screen or something like that because it's featured or maybe it's just that good of an app that people feature it on the Android market. Either way, I still think it's a good app and um, it's a really good experience on the Android market. I don't believe the old Android market you could scroll on and um, basically on the home screen it basically advertises movies, books, apps, games. It advertises everything. You have to click on one of the four categories to get specific. But basically, it's not very different from the uh, old Android market. It's still really cool. Um, I found that searching was a little faster. 
I don't know if that's something they put in the market, but uh, I found that searching was faster and my searches were more relevant. Like if I searched something uh, in the old market, I would get random searches that didn't pertain to anything I was searching. But for this, the searches are more relevant and it's a way better market. It looks better. It just looks cleaner. It looks cooler. And I think this is better just for the market look in general. So, um... I showed you how to download this and I gave a little quick review on the market. So um, please rate, comment, and subscribe. More videos soon. Don't forget to check out my video on how to create free YouTube intros from FlixPress.com. Very cool. You can create intros instantly and they look really professional and they're completely free. So uh, rate, comment, and subscribe. See you in the next